Welcome to CSL TV. I just hope you guys are having a beautiful, blessed day. Now, if you're new to the channel, this is just a review, a reaction, as well as an informational channel. Hopefully, the informational part help you and someone out, and we're just going to watch some videos and talk about them. If you've been rocking with me, I just got to say thank you so much. I appreciate the love, the comments, the feedback. I know I haven't been too active, but I'm kind of dealing with some of the stuff I kind of told y'all about it. You know, today is an okay day, um, but I don't want to make this intro too long, so y'all already know. Let's get it. An Arizona man is in big trouble because of TikTok. This Annie G. Tyner, a 36-year-old truck driver from Phoenix. One evening, an accident had shut down part of Interstate 10 just outside the city. Police say Tyner was driving his truck when he got close to the accident, only he allegedly made things much, much worse. As he was going 68 miles per hour in a 55 construction zone, cops say Tyner got a message on his work iPad on TikTok. Tyner said he looked down at the message and when he looked back up, traffic was stopped and he didn't have enough time to stop himself. This was the result, a six car crash that killed five people. Among the dead were Willis Thompson, a local father of three, and Ryan Gooding, also a father, who was about to marry the love of his life. This all happened back in January, but authorities have just arrested Tyner following an investigation. He's been charged with five counts of manslaughter. In case the moral of the story isn't clear, stay the f off your phone when you're driving. Man, shout out to Angie over at Notice News for this content now. When I say y'all need to stay off y'all damn phones when y'all driving, this is what I'm talking about. Now, I was in this type of situation, which I'm still currently dealing with, um, where the person in front of me wasn't paying attention and the person behind me wasn't paying attention. And I'm fighting with who I'm fighting right now just to get the proper care that I need. So this is why y'all need to stop texting and driving. Luckily, me and other people are alive today to, to be here while these people ain't alive. So y'all need to really put the phones down, stop texting and driving. They got these modes on here where if you're driving or moving, your phone won't ring or do nothing. So practice that. There's new video floating around of the doomed Titanic sub showing the guy who owned the sub, Ocean Gate CEO Stockton Rush, ignoring safety concerns. And there's this, another video of another mission inside the doomed sub. <laughs> you got the owner right back there, Stockton. Stockton, who was manning the sub on its final trip to the Titanic when it imploded last week, is seen addressing his entire staff in a 2022 BBC documentary that's only available outside the US. In the clip, an employee raises concerns about a loud bang heard on a mission. You know, really um, want to make sure you're, you're aware of all this. On mission four, when we got to the surface, Scott was piloting, he heard a really loud bang. Um, not, a, not a soothing sound, no. uh, but on the surface. And as the attendant PH will, will uh, attest, Almost every deep diving sub makes a noise at some point. It was in that same documentary, Rush admitted he'd broken some rules to make the Titan sub. He also said this. At some point, safety just is pure waste. I mean, if you just want to be safe, don't get out of bed. Don't get in your car. Don't do anything. And in another video, a passenger on the Doom sub was documenting the trip and shared a video from their excursion. Here's what he shared. We're inside the submarine right now. <laughs> Got the owner right back there, Stockton. You ever had any water leaking in the tank? Yes, mm -hmm. so what happened now is they'll, then they'll put a, a, a vacuum on. Yeah. Alright. Alright guys. We're sealed. <laughs> we're in here. <laughs> Alright. Alright, we're inside and sealed in the submarine. I'm excited. First time in a submarine, it looks really cool in here too. Keep in mind what you're looking at right now is the exact same submersible that imploded and killed five people. And also any footage you see of Stockton, of course, you know, he's passed away by now. Uh, tell them we're at uh, 600 feet. Oh, we're, yeah, yeah, we're doing it. Oh my Jesus. We're good. We are all upside down right now, you guys. Look at that. We're underwater. We're officially underwater in a submarine right now. 33 feet, I believe, right? 
10 about meters. 10 meters. Yep. Yep. 33 feet. Are you ready for unlock, or are we unlock? Is he saying we are unlocked, or are okay. we ready for unlock? Yes, say give him an okay. Give it in the in the dome. Yeah. So what does that mean? Uh, he's he's going to go lock. pull the mechanical lock, and we're going to see how the pneumatic lock is doing. And there's a chance we'll pop off. Still no pings from the top side. Hey, Stockton, what are you using to control the submarine? Then you're locked in. Okay to lock in. Okay. Go to Jimmy. Okay. Can you see? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. That means they're probably going to bring us up. So, yeah, you know, because we've had no calms for for a while. This is a pretty. This is the vertical. He's getting aggressive on us. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are bubbles. Yeah. Bet to come up. Yeah, yeah, look at that. That was, good, that was a good blow. Not bad, huh? Come the roll. I think we want to go. It's cool when you break the surface. Yeah. Think you go left. Lean a little left. Keep going left. Balancing. Oh, nice job, Kyle. Yeah. I'm a, yeah. Look at the Kyle. <laughs> nice one, man. I don't know exactly the game plan for this particular dive. We never left a platform. If the fog didn't roll in and cancel the dive, who knows, maybe we would have left that platform and maybe we would have imploded. But I can tell you right now, I feel like I dodged the bullet, but I also feel very bad for the families who lost loved ones. Like I said before, I didn't know these people too well, but they treated me very nicely and I lost a few friends as well. If you're chasing big dreams and pushing your limits, obviously dangerous things can happen and you know can be fatal. In this case scenario, five people lost their life and this exact same submersible that I was going to go down in the Titanic in. I think this is a big reminder not only to myself but everyone that life is very precious and it can go away very quickly. Like I said if the weather permitted and it was beautiful out and Stockton asked me if I wanted a spot in that submarine I would have said yes and it could have been me. So I'm very thankful that I'm here today but at the end of the day I just want to say I had an unbelievable experience for Mission 3. I met some incredible people. I'm taking home memories that I would hold dear to my heart for the rest of my life. These people were very nice to me and I'm very grateful. I wish I could go back in time and, and just, you know, like tell them not to do it. But, you know, this is, this is real life.